Bulginaka, do you know that cybercrime is becoming a growing problem in Fiji? Cybercrime is defined as a crime in which a computer is the object of the crime, such as hacking and spam. Cybercrime is also cyberbullying and using fake profiles to cause panic and spread false news. If you're involved in this or know anyone who's committing these crimes, report them immediately. I'm Polly. And I'm Peter. We host the Traffic Jam Show on City FM. From 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. every weekday. Do, do the, the right thing. thing. In this bulletin, suicide cases raise concerns. New bridge to assist Fijians. And three more countries pauses COVID vaccination. From the studios of FBC Suva, Atera Lendua. The recent hike in suicides, attempted suicides and self-harm cases is a clear indication that society has lost its values. And Power Pacific Mental Health Specialist Pram Singh says after providing counseling support to attempted suicide victims, they identified that many of the cases are not linked to mental health issues. Singh adds it can either be a direct consequence of relationship and family issues or the socioeconomic impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic. We have seen a spike in uh, young people um, being admitted in most of the ho hospitals across Fiji for um, deliberate self-harm or attempted suicide. A committal proceeding has been filed against Lotoka lawyer Aman Ravindra Singh for failing to comply with the orders of the Civil High Court. In July last year, Singh was ordered to pay the Prime Minister and the Attorney General over $120,000 in damages for defamation. He had posted an unsubstantiated article titled Regime Dirty Politics on his Facebook page and was found guilty of defamation. Singh was ordered to write a public retraction and a apology to the Prime Minister and Attorney General in prominent print. Yes. He was also ordered to pay $60,000 each yes. to the PM and AG with 6% interest on the sum awarded from March 7, 2008 to the date of the judgment in July last year. Singh filed preliminary objections to procedures when the matter was called in court today. Over 5,000 people in the Namata district Momi Village and the settlements at Wusuya and Korodirithiri will benefit from the new Waindamu Bridge. The old bridge had only one lane, which made it dangerous and inconvenient. Prime Minister Murenge Banimarama says nearly $4 million was spent to construct the bridge. He says they're rebuilding infrastructures to be stronger and resilient. He adds, with resilient infrastructure, we're not just protecting ourselves from the threat of climate change, but also giving Fijians the kind of structures they need. The public who's uh, departed loved ones at the uh, Rara Lebu Cemetery will find it easier to make their visits. The World Authority of Fiji will have better access to Rara Lebu Reservoir. The police at the Busuya Rara Lebu Police Post will be able to respond to emergencies more quickly. The children who attend the two primary, primary schools will be able to walk to school more safely. The Housing Authority intends to implement all the recommendations highlighted in the Special Investigation Report by the Office of the Auditor General before any lot allocations takes place. The report is the result of the investigation conducted following allegations of corruption. Chief Executive Robert Sen says so far they have implemented 15 recommendations and five have been partially executed. Sen says they'll also finish their allocation policy to ensure the processes are followed accordingly. Once we have framed up the, uh, the allocation uh, process uh, or the policies, we will advise all the customers um, or also when time for the allocation of a lot uh, before um, hand and we'll give ample time to the public uh, advertising the, in the media so the process and how the, uh, the, they're supposed to come and update their records or what are the requirements, how they need to fill the forms up and all the other details will be advised to them at a uh, later stage. Three more countries have announced that they will be pausing the rollout of the AstraZeneca vaccine. This is after reports of serious side effects of the vaccine emerging from several countries in Europe. Up ahead, Delta Tigers trying to find form. And Fijians continue to impress in NRL.
The Rewa football side has had a slow start to the season, losing to Suva in the first round and finishing with a one-all draw against Lotoka last week. This has left the Delta Tigers coach Roddix Singh to reconsider changing his tactics in the Digicel Premier League for the next few games. Karlani Tavi with the details. Despite having a much experienced side compared to Lotoka, Rao made a lot of silly mistakes which cost them the win. Uh, it's just uh, unforced errors. Uh, you see the first goal Lotoka scored is just from an unforced error and error that uh, shouldn't be occurring. So we'll just go back and uh, try and uh, address some of the uh, unforced errors. Going up against Lombasa will not be easy knowing that the Mbamba Singh Alliance will have their fan support. Uh, so we know Lombasa is a good team and they will also come up fighting in their home ground so we will pre 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 prepare accordingly and uh, try and get the three points at this time. Lombasa has not forgotten the last time the two sides met where Rewa thrashed them 4-0 during the Vodafone Fiji fact. Uh, last year they came and they uh, really thrashed us in our home game but then uh, I think they'll be coming out uh, fighting. Uh, Rewa will be a very hard to, uh, team to beat. Uh, majority of the players from last year are there and we know uh, it will be a very tough game and, uh, for us and uh, Rewa, nothing can be taken away from them. Lombasa will host Rewa on Saturday at 1.30 p.m. at Subrail Park. Karli Nitavi, FBC Sports. Fans can expect some exciting competition in the Suva Zone 1 this afternoon with the Open Boys and Girls 3000 meters at ANZ Stadium in Suva. Lamosi Secondary School is currently leading in the Boys and Girls Division after the completion of 1,500 meter race yesterday afternoon. They dominated the girls' division, scooping three gold, three silver, and two bronze. In the boys' division, Namosi leads with two gold, one silver, and one bronze. Tomorrow, you can watch all the zone action live and exclusive on FBC Sports or via Walesi. Fiji National Rugby League is impressed with the number of Fijians in the 2021 National Rugby League season. As the season kicked off last week, about 18 players with links to Fiji were playing in the NRL. FNRL Chief Executive Don Matambe says they're proud of the Fijian players, especially with emerging talents in the professional stage like Ilyasa Ratuva, who will be featuring for the New Zealand Warriors. We have Mike Asivo. Uh, coming in um, uh, as listed, uh, you know, on the first uh, lineup for the Parramatta Hills. We're looking at Tapi Saikurisau. So there's a huge raft, uh, there's a big raft of players listed, and I think it's over 16 players. So, uh, you know, that's something that all features can really look forward to. Head trauma in sport has hit growing concern in Australia. A study has found there may be a link between repeated injuries and dementia as well as serious brain disease. Former Australia Prime Minister John Howard is one of a high-profile contingent trying to raise awareness of the need for greater safety in sport. A trough of low pressure with associated cloud and showers is expected to affect the Fiji group until later today. We can expect a fine day with occasional scattered showers tomorrow. That's FBC News Now. Join us again at 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. For news you can trust, get the facts from FBC's TV, radio and digital news at fbcnews.com.fj. Take care and good afternoon. हमारे खूबसूरत देश फिजी में चाइल्ड अब्यूज की घटनाएं आए दिन बढ़ रही हैं। क्यों बच्चों का मासूम बचपन अब्यूज का शिकार हो जाता है अपने बच्चों की सुरक्षा का खास ख्याल रखें। उनसे बातचीत करें उनके दोस्तों के बारे में जानें। आज के बच्चे देश का भविष्य है मैं दीप्ति और मैं मोनिश आपके हम सफर
शामिल हो जाए हमारे साथ मंडे टू फ्राइडे फाइव फोर्टी फाइव एम सी टेन एम तक रेडियो फिजी टू देश की धड़कन आरोप